Like it's eight minutes before eight o'clock and thank you so much for staying with Morning Live. Uh, the countdown is began the, to this year's launch of Makufa Festival uh, that takes place in the city centre Bloemfontein in the Free State Province. The nine-day Mangaung African Cultural Festival is an event that is uh, showcasing the best African as well as international talent. This year marks the 20th anniversary of Makufa and the Free State Department of Arts and Culture is immensely proud of the massive extravagance that the festival has become over the past 20 years. But to talk to us more about uh, this year's plans, we joined in our studios in Johannesburg by Mata Bolieto. She is MEC of uh, Sports, Arts and Culture in the Free State Province, as well as uh, uh, the main man behind the festival. Um, he is uh, the organizer of the event, Ben Musemi. Good morning to both of you and thank you so much for coming through. Uh, good morning, uh, Palisa, and thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you so much. But why are you it just in the beginning? <laughs> you need to take it easy. You need to take one it step easy. at the time. One step at Because it's a big one. It's 20th a big one. celebration. We're expecting it to be big this year. It's going to be big. It's mm. going to be awesome. It's going to be something out of this world. We're keeping it according to its payoff line mm. when your heart and soul is African. Mm. Hence, you see our lineup being focusing on African artists, your Davidos. Uh, we'll have a, a nice uh, surprise okay. of uh, Mafiki Zolo also celebrating 20 years. Yeah, no, we have them in studio. We're going to be uh, chatting to them about their 20th celebration as well. And it coincides with the Makufi as it is. It the theme for this year, Makufi's proud Pan-African cultural affair. What motivated this thing? I think it's mainly around bringing our cultures together and infusing different uh, backgrounds of our uh, backgrounds, our heritage, our culture. And uh, we find that this became the platform mm. to be celebrated. If you remember 10 years back, we repositioned the brand, we changed the logo, and then we actually came with a new fresh look and we, we, we also came with a new program to, 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 to the Africans. Mm. And we saw the brand growing. At that time when we launched, we said, uh, repair uh, 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 mm. that's when we started putting the whole thing together. together and it's 10 years down the line now which is 20 from 1997 mm. from 2007 2008 we took a dip and then we came up so now 2017 we're saying reasol. oh we have delivered let me see 20 years later as a department are you happy with what makufi has become Palisa, as the provincial government of the Free State, we are more than excited that in 2017 we'll be celebrating 20 years of a successful uh, Makufe, which is known uh, in South Africa, in Africa, and in the world. And this 20-year celebration takes place at a time when we celebrate the centenary of our hero, uh, Comrade O.R. Tambo, and as we celebrate it, I think that Sam has already indicated that we're saying we're bringing our pride about us being Africans. That's why uh, the theme would say, when your heart and soul is African. Yes, yes. Now, this year, we will be celebrating the 20 years in uh, uh, Bloemfontein, Mangau. You would know that uh, Makufa has been successful all these years, and it has become more than a celebration but also adding value into into the economy yeah. of the free state yeah. specifically Bloemfontein and the surrounding areas because during Makufe you would know even now if people are looking for accommodation there is nothing there's, left. there's nothing accommodation mm -hmm. but let them use the accommodation in the surrounding towns yeah. because there are surrounding towns and uh, there's a lot of value chain in Makufe mm -hmm. And we have conducted an economic uh, impact uh, analysis just for us to have a factual uh, report on how Makufe add value to the economy of the free state. Mm -hmm. Now, it has shown that we are injecting more than 200 million in 10 days in Bloemfontein only. Mm -hmm. We have not yet analyzed the surrounding Surround towns, areas. because you would know as a free stater that uh, people even sleep in their cars because there's no accommodation. So this year, mm. we would be saying we are proud to be Africans and let's display yeah. 
our Africanism in in Makufi this year. So yeah. we a are excited as the provincial government. Accommodation remains um, a huge challenge. We do know that, and I've seen some people take into Facebook saying, "Look, this is my house. I'm renting it out for main so for the weekend of the main festival." So people are sort of you know earning something out of Makufi as well. Yes, the community of Bloemfontein and the surrounding towns, they do um, a, a benefit out of Makufe because as you are saying, for many years now, we have been encouraging people of Bloemfontein, people of your Brantford, people of your Velcom, because some even sleeps in Velcom in for them to attend Makufe, to say, let them use the opportunity that comes out of Makufe. Let them make sure that there's more... Uh, accommodation even in the township because yeah. if there's accommodation in the township it means we are revitalizing the township economy so people of Mangaung now and the surrounding area they have already uh, booked their houses they've yeah. vacated to go somewhere and stay with maybe relatives because let them make money true out of Makufi yeah when the concept started MEC back in 1997 mainly was also to look at the development of artists around the Free State province itself. And I know that a few weeks ago, some of them were saying, we demand 20% of the budgeted uh, money for Makufa for this year. Was the issue resolved? Yes, the issue was resolved. Um, I think maybe it's, it's important that I must clarify that the benefit of the people of the Free State in Makufe is more than a benefit to any other person. Because remember, Palisa, it's not only about um, artists performing at Makufe. But there's also many other uh, economic activities that are happening during Makufe. So okay. we have met with SIFSA and uh, the issue was resolved because the, it, it is not necessarily about the 20% of running Makufe, but it's about many other issues. I remember there's an issue which was raised by SIFSA to say, but it can be correct that if maybe there's a company which comes from outside the free state and is going to provide a service at Makufe. Then they can bring their technical people, but for, I mean, general All labor. Right. Okay. They shouldn't bring people, but they should employ people of Bloomfontein, of which I agree with them. All right. So it's the main festival, the Diva Comedy Show, a whole lot of things for nine days. For to. someone who's never been to Makufe, how would you sell out the event? Uh, we've got a hip hop uh, that is starting on the 29th. Okay. We've got uh, Ms. Lamaras. Uh, which is a, a beauty contest that is very, very unique, okay. which is bringing all the girls from the townships together from all the corners of the free state. Uh, remember, Makufe doesn't only happen at the venues like mm. the Makufe Dome, the Rose Garden yeah. on Saturday okay. at the Kaiser Ships and Bloemfontein Celtics at the free state stadium. Makufe starts from the airport as people are going yeah. down. Yeah. On the N1 at the toll gates, it's happening. The Shell Ultra yeah. Cities up until you get to Mahungra, to Sechaba, to Taunameng in Butabe. All right. So when you're in Bloemfontein, you're going to experience a different thing. The vibe in G. It's, it's a right. different vibe altogether. We'll leave it at that. Uh, but Ben, thank you so much, Amisi. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it on Makufe. Well, it's uh, 8 o'clock. It's time for your news. And Leanne is standing by.